Good morning, boys and girls, and happy Thursday. It's almost Friday, one more day. Today, we're going to continue practicing our letter. Oh, wrong one. What one? There it is, letter F, and F says, nice job. All right, today we're going to start off, and we're just going to go over our, your homework really quick, and then we'll get into the lesson. So go into your reading comprehension book, and you are going to find this game. So it's called, it says game cards at the top for letter F, and you have a game board that you need to find too. So what you're going to do today is one or two things, or you can do all of them. So if you don't have scissors, then you have two steps to do. The first step is to color all the E things. That's it, only the E things. Then you need to write different words in each one of these. So if I don't have my scissors, I'm gonna look and I know that this is letter a, as we learned A, let's see. Hmm. Oh, I, I see two things that start with A. So I'm gonna pick this one because I kind of think that astronauts are pretty cool. So I'm gonna find the A bag. Oh, I found it. And I'm going to write the word astronaut in there. Now, if I have scissors, Instead of writing words in each of the bags, I'm going to cut out the pictures and I'm going to glue them to the back. Got it? So you have two things to do regardless. First step, you need to color all the A pictures, or I'm sorry, all the F pictures. Then if you have scissors, you need to cut them and glue them to the right bag. If you don't have scissors, you're going to write one word for each one in here. Got it? So you have two things. Don't just write the letter. You need to write a word. So like if you don't have scissors, you could do an easy one for F would be, I made a, a fist. Fist. So I could write the word fist. Like that. So that is your homework for today. Now, Let's get on to some writing practice. So just like you were writing your words, we're gonna practice writing some words. So last week you started to blend. We had two letters that we blended together. So I'm gonna turn my board onto this side today. So at the top, I'm going to use these three open rectangles. So in the middle, I'm gonna write the letter A and then at the end, I'm gonna write the letter N. Now, I know that this says A, and this says N, and when you put them together, it says AN. When you put it together, it says AN, like in CAN, in FAN, in PAN. So we're gonna practice writing some of those words today. So the first word we're gonna practice is the one that's on our F paper. So everybody put your hands in your lap and let's do this together to start with. All right, before you start writing, we're gonna sound it out together. Ready? So I'm gonna use this with my pointer so we can see what letters we need. And, and, and. Hmm, what does fan start with? F, very good. So I'm gonna write F, and I know A, N. Look at that, I wrote the word fan. Now, we haven't had the rest of these letters yet, so you can try. If you can't write it, it is okay. You will get better at it, but we're gonna try. Ready, the next word, k, an, k, 
and put it together. Can. So I'm going to give you a hint. It starts with a C. The C, the letter C says K, 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 K. So let's write K. Now, A. N. Now put them together. K and can. Like I have a can of soup or a can of broccoli. I don't know if broccoli comes in a can. How about a can of corn? Does that sound yummy? All right, one more. Ready? Another letter we haven't had yet, but I think you can write it. Ready? P and P and all right, we're gonna start. P A N. Now let's put it together. P and pan. What word? Pan. Nice job. All right. If you want, you guys can post that you did this on your JoJo portfolio page and show me for your reading work. But now we're going to move on to our phonemic awareness. So you can, for the adults, I will show you again. It's in our phonics book. And you're looking at week four. And like I said before, I made my own little things. So today I'm actually going to use my board, but you are not using your board. I'm using my board as a visual for you so that you have that extra piece. All right. So, all right. So we have been practicing the sounds that we hear that make syllables. And syllables are the parts of a word. So, all right, boys and girls, let's get going. We're going to continue with our syllables this, but this time I'm going to make marks for the syllables that we hear. So you can do this at home, but you don't have to. This is a good thing for an adult to do with you because the directions say to use counters, but I don't know that you all have counters with you. So I'm gonna say a word and we're going to, or I'm going to make marks for the syllables that I hear. So let's get started. The first word I hear is dinosaur. Dinosaur. How many syllables are in dinosaur? Three. So I have three marks or three counters. Let's try this again with a few more words that we've heard. How about insect? How many? Good. Two. How about sunny? How many? Two. Good. How about happy? Two. How about sad? One, how about mad? Good, how about, ooh, you know what? I have to erase my board. This one's a long one. Let's try it. Wonderful, wonderful. How many? Three, good. Next one, yesterday. How many? Three, how about door? One, how about teacher? Two, and last one, boy, one. Good job. Now, if we were in school or if you have counters at home, you can do this with your adults and you can have a little pile of counters in front of you or coins if you have coins or M&Ms or Cheerios, something small. And as you say the word, you can move the counter. So if I did it as an example with some, I have one, two, three. So ready? How about subway? How many? Two. How about teacher? Teacher. How many? Two. How about 
class room. How many? Two. How about cup? How many? One. How about bathroom? Two. Last one. Hmm. Peanut butter. Because <laughs> I ran out of paper. Peanut butter. How many? Four. So you can use anything you have as a counter. Or you can you can you can use your whiteboard as a counter or, and draw the little counters as you say. Any way you do it will be correct and it will do great. Until next time, bye guys.